Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. And on this episode, I'm going to go with Cap Ron Johnson. Um, we're probably going to go to the buoy, catch some fish. And um, it's actually, he actually makes the best poi. So I really wanted some fish to go along with my taco and his poi uh, for Christmas and New Year's. Because actually every year, I try to get enough fish and taco and stuff and give to all the kapunas in my neighborhood because they really truly do appreciate it so i try and i mean that's why you know all, all of the videos you see me catch a lot of taco actually i give a lot of it away so um because all these old people in our neighborhood really need it or want it and they can't get it anymore so i really try to do that for them um but so on this trip i asked Captain john's like hey can we please go to the buoy uh and help me catch some fish for my neighbors for christmas and new year's so and Captain johnson is just like a dad to me he's like of course let's go let's go load up the boat and let's go so wish us luck and let's go holo holo another beautiful day in hawaii ne? driving out to cap johnson's house we're gonna try to launch out of kahana and hopefully hit ll buoy and hope that something is there and look at that beautiful beautiful sunrise just peeking over crouching lion. All right, wish us luck. Let's go, holo holo. We kind of just shot it straight out, straight to the buoy, let out lines, set our big our big lines, and then what we're gonna do is just circle the buoy and hopefully find something big. As you can see, there's already birds flying, there's fish jumping out of the water, so it looks really good. But there is a lot of boats at the buoy today probably everybody has the same idea as us <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're just going to try to drag our lines for about half an hour hour if, if, if we don't hook something big we're going to go switch over to my lighter gear like all my small poles um 30 pound test to my little mylar flies oh these things are magic so i just make these my own little flies like here and these things catch everything so we trolled for a while, not, nothing, so we went straight to these. This is just like my Mylar bomb, I guess. This is kind of like my Fragger Rock, look at that. Fragger Rock pom-pom. It's like, it's just one of those Japan double hooks. All I did was put the Mylar through the eye with uh, some rainbow yarn and wrap it with dental floss and then hot glue the head. And then put some red eyes on them. But I'm telling you, this thing is cherry. <laughs> Raja. This thing catches everything. Look at that. On fire, baby. Yeah, yo, we actually got a double, so cap was on, so mine was farther out, so I just kind of held mine farther out and just kept tension, and I let cap bring his in, and then that way he can get in, and we're not gonna tangle, not gonna go to the engine, so bam, bingo, bango, blood in the box, cap got one in. All right, it's my turn, so here we go, Joe, bringing this one in, come on, do it for your neighbors. Right, 
that outline and do it again. Kind of just go about with that four, four or five knots and then just kind of keep jigging it. And usually you just jump right on. Hanapa, fish on. On fire, baby. Alright, so this one is actually a pretty good one. Like it felt a lot heavier, a lot bigger, so it was like on it felt like a nice aqua on the end of the line. But I could feel something, it wasn't fighting just right. It started like really freaking out more than normal. So I'm like, oh something's chasing it. So I'm like, ah, oh, it's probably a shark, stupid shark. No, 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 shark, shark. Whoa, there it is. You guys seen him? But <laughs> Look at that zoom in on the bad boy But was actually I think was actually a huge huge porpoise because actually we've seen all the other fins in the water and of course it went to get my fish and oh fumble <laughs> That's a fail right there as soon as it hit the water uh, The fish ate it or the porpoise ate it. So oh well Let's get out of here right there, Oh, all right, one more. <laughs> one more before we go. There you go, double count. <laughs> Hanapa. Now, now we cook it. That's it, I mean, you cook it. It's like a pound, two After those porpoises came, it was really slow, so it was really hard to get a bite. So then we decided we're gonna little chum a little bit and throw out some bait. So what you're gonna do is put a nice circle hook on the end of that. We're actually gonna make 40, 50 pound test and then just throw it out there and throw it right in your slick, right in your chum line and then free line it, free line it and hopefully something big comes up or something comes up and eats it. So, oh, there we go, Hanapa. Yeah, yeah, fish on. Bingo, another one for the box. All right, time for a little snack and somebody else want to nibble, nibble too. Hanapa, here we go, Cap, you on. Yes, sir. Yee. Right on cap, nice one. Well, I think we got enough fish, so we're just gonna start heading back in before it gets too late. So we're just gonna throw out our little hand lines here, and then uh, we're gonna also set out our big poles and just troll it, you know, just check out the ledges on the way back to Kahana, and maybe get lucky with an owner or something. So wish us luck. All right, let's go holo holo. Oh yeah, double. Yeah, blind strike double. Nice hit, both hit the hand line. So here we go, bring it in. 
Yes, sir. Here we go. On fire, baby. Oh, I, I see. I see. Alright, who was blessed with some awesome fish. Time to go home and pass out some fish to neighbors and just make their holiday season. So I just want to wish you guys at home a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And let's hope 2021 it has a lot more better stuff come, coming for us. So yes sir. Woo! Kava Kava and a Hallelujah next. Yeah. Hallelujah time. Yeah. Butterfly. Fry crispy. Sheep. Get a close up on this. Come on in, man. Yeah. On a fish. In the pool. Oh, yeah. You slide them in, that is. You go half half and make them all crispy, right on. Boom. And we'll fry these so that you can eat the bones and everything. And be like, ta da! And then that way, all these little bones you can eat right through them. Oh yeah, look at that. Crispy gouji, man. It's so good. Yeah. Deep fried halaloo. Fried kava kava. Some lumpia. Ooh, and kona crab. Naomi, are you happy? Yeah. Happy, happy? Yeah. Which one you want? Of all of these choices, of the kava kava, the kule, what you want? The kona crab. How about the desserts? What you want? What you want? The trifle? Ooh, anti trifle? How about the regular food? Which one you want the most, Nomi? Show daddy. You want one? Wanna take one right now? Go. Nah, just joking. I'm not ready yet. <laughs> this is the best. Look how fat that is. It's like, look at a different fish. And then these guys, you can even eat those scales. Can you hear it? It's like chips. Hey, no, you want to try chips? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Crunchy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, come with you in the bed, it's huge. It's bigger than the bed I've ever had. That with corner crab. I've never seen Happy that. New Year's. <laughs> I've never seen that in the bed that day. Oh. Hey, thank you guys again for watching another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. Um, make sure you guys like and subscribe, hit that notification button. That way you can catch all the cool stuff I'm having coming up this year. Um, I want you to come on all my adventures with me and thank you again for a wonderful last year. And let's just have this Ohana, this On Fire Fishing family, you just keep marching on into the next year. and. Let's do great stuff. All right, remember to fish safe and fish with aloha. Catch you guys on the next one.
I guess no need for our show. Get right up, backyard. Jeez.